Hey, I'm gonna bring you with me today on a little hike and I'm gonna share with you the biggest mistakes I've made while through hiking. Let's go. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Krista and I'm a Canadian through hiker. I have completed two through hikes, the 950 kilometer Great Divide Trail in Canada and the 2200 kilometer Croatian Long Distance Trail in Croatia. So I've through hiked a total of 3,150 kilometers in the last three years. I'm walking in Meteora, Greece. So it's fall now, it's November, the leaves are changing, and these beautiful rock formations here have monasteries sprinkled throughout them. So see if we can spot one of those and enjoy nature. There's rock climbers up there. I was trying to figure out who I could hear talking. Mistake number one is that I never properly trained for either of my through hikes. And this is such a ridiculous one considering that I have a master's degree in physical therapy and I 100% know better, but sometimes we can know something and not always execute it. And for me, both of my through hikes were a little bit last minute. I didn't plan them with enough time to actually properly train and I decided I would just like ride on the fact that I had like a base fitness. So I still was exercising leading up to my through hikes but I wasn't training properly. So next time what I'm going to do to not make this mistake again is I'm going to make sure I train specifically and so that means actually using all of the gear I'm going to be using on my through hike and building my distance up over several months so that when I start my hike, I'm used to the gear, my shoes are broken in, my body has adapted, and my body is used to the longer distance days. Okay, mistake number two is not investing in a lightweight water filter. I brought this huge MSR hand pump one on my first through hike on the GDT and it was so heavy. So I decided not to bring it with me on the CLDT and I brought the aqua, aqua tabs that purify the water, but they don't filter it. So then I didn't have a filter with me on the CLDT and a lot of the water sources needed filtration and there were very few water sources so i was thirsty a lot of the time and the amount of water i carried i may as well just carried my heavy water filter so for my next through hike i really want to invest in an ultralight filter i've heard the sawyer squeeze is really good but if you have a favorite ultralight water filter let me know in the comments also how cute are these little i think they're acorns and this little top is like a little, could be a tiny little hat. Okay, would you climb this ladder? It is sketchy looking. And the drop off. Okay, I think I'm gonna pass. I think it just goes up on top of that one rock, so let's go this way instead. Oh, there's another ladder over here. Okay, so there's the rock. There's a ladder here that looks safer. Let's try this one out.
it up here? Yes. Mistake number three was just not breaking my shoes in properly. And even just that way of saying it, I don't think is quite accurate because you're not trying to like break your shoes down because you need them for the kilometers of the through hike. But what you're trying to do is get your body, your feet, and then everything up from your feet used to that specific type of footwear. So get used to like how tight you're gonna lace the shoes, how, um, they support your feet so then all the muscles up from your feet also need to adapt to how they support and how you move wearing those shoes so it's less about breaking the shoe in and actually more about getting your body used to those shoes and how you want to use them on the croatian long distance trail i definitely made the mistake of not breaking in my shoes or not getting my body used to my shoes and i over cinched them on the first five days and I caused myself an injury that made me have to take almost three weeks off of proper hiking. So that is a mistake I learned from for sure. So I've already got my through hiking shoes for next season. So I probably bought them like 10 months in advance or something like that. And I'm gonna try not to overuse them because of course I need them for the hike, but I'm getting my body used to them. I'm wearing them today. Okay, mistake number four was not downloading gut hooks and buying the through hike track. I don't know if this is always going to be the case, but it seems like gut hooks has all the through hike tracks and it seems like it's the most accurate of them all. I did not have that when I did the GDT and there are a few times that I think I took a harder route than I needed to. So I would definitely do that. I'll link it in the description of this video. Number five is not believing in myself. I decided years ago that I wanted to through hike. I knew I wanted to do it, but I kept making excuses. Like I didn't have the skill, the gear, the fitness. But if you wait for all of the stars to align, I just don't think that's ever going to happen. Like I decided, you know what? I have the skills, I have the fitness. I don't have ultralight gear, but I need to just do this. I need to try it to see if I like it as much as I think I will. And I'm so glad that I did that because you do not need to have the perfect gear to through hike. I used the gear I had, it was just backpacking gear and none of it was ultralight, but I still did my first through hike. I did it at the pace that I knew I could and I completed it. You can do that too, of course, make sure you're keeping yourself safe and make sure you do have the right skills in order to keep yourself safe out there but it does not need to be perfect you have to believe in yourself and if you think you're going to love through hiking and you've never tried it and this can also apply to any other goal you might have it doesn't have to be through hiking you have to believe in yourself you have to believe that you can do it and then give yourself the opportunity to prove yourself right Mistake number six is not taking a multivitamin. On both of my through hikes, I felt like my hair started to fall out more, my fingernails got weaker, and I didn't take a multivitamin. Definitely gonna do that next time. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this little hike. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week. I post every Wednesday. Time for me to get back to the van before the sun sets. <laughs>